Good Wednesday morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Great to see the sunshine today. Beautiful start to the day. It is a little chilly out there. It's just a couple minutes past 7.30 on this Wednesday morning. We've been as cold as 36 degrees here in Rochester so far today. And I have no doubt there have been a couple of spots that have encountered a little bit of frost this morning. Temperatures have been very chilly all across the map with very light winds and clear skies. Just all the ingredients you need for a frosty morning in the area. And it is early May. It's not strange to see that this time of the year. The typical last date of a frost in this area is about May 5th, between May 5th and May 10th. So it wouldn't be strange to have at least one more of those. And may, we may yet see some more of that uh, heading into this weekend because we are looking at a, a kind of a chilly stretch of weather uh, still shaping up for us. But right now, blue sky, that's our, our Gualty Group camera from CC Heights. Right now, uh, here we're looking at temperatures already this morning, up to 40 degrees here, shortly after 7.30. On our way to the upper 50s, that's where we were yesterday, but with a whole lot more wind uh, for our Tuesday. We had gusts beyond 30 miles per hour yesterday. And so certainly that added a little extra chill to the air. Today, not a whole lot of wind, but it is still going to be definitely a cool day by seasonal standards, almost 10 degrees below uh, what we consider normal for early May. Here's the day planner, some sunshine. We start off in the 40s over the next couple of hours. Mid 50s around lunchtime, 58 the expected high later today. There will be some rain chances arriving around 4 or 5 o'clock. The wind's fairly tame, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, here's uh, the situation right now at Rochester, 40 in the 7 o'clock hour. Feels like 37. Look at that dew point, only 30 degrees. That's pretty dry air. Those showers at the west are going to take some uh, time before they really saturate the atmosphere and give us a good uh, chance for, for soaking showers. But I think we will eventually get there by this evening. It's 40 degrees right now. Rochester, 38. Northwood, Mason City, 37. And uh, Plainview, 41. We know 41 right now. Satellite radar, blue sky right now, but we look to the west. There is that rain, and that's what we're hoping for. Eventually, we'll get some of that. At this point, what we're facing, about a tenth to a quarter inch of rainfall, mostly this evening and ending shortly after midnight. So we'll have those rain chances with us. High pressure right now, bringing a quiet, uh, quiet tranquil morning. Uh, not much happening here, at least so far today, but there are the changes. Here we're looking at future cast, cloud cover taking over uh, shortly afternoon. Then here come the showers around four, five, six o'clock, periods of light rain for the evening. The rain then exits the area around three or four in the morning tomorrow. A passing cloud or two will have a brisk northwest breeze at times gusting around 25 miles per hour. So a breezier day tomorrow. And then spotty showers come in tomorrow late afternoon evening. We may see a brief sprinkle tomorrow uh, evening for midnight still and then going ahead to Friday morning high pressure comes in a chilly morning Friday morning again we're waking up to mid and upper 30s maybe a spot or two of frost there and maybe even again Friday night uh, there's a chance uh, in those coming days where we see those 30s on the map but today 58 the expected high this afternoon some sun then some showers late in the day with the northwest breeze around 5 to 10 miles per hour uh, rain late in the day after about uh, 4 or 5 o'clock we'll have rain then some partial clearing late tonight lows around 36 and 58 tomorrow, again, a uh, similar situation, just a little breezier. And very spotty light showers, very sparse activity. It does not look like we may even see measurable rainfall tomorrow afternoon uh, or evening. A seven-day forecast, we have a uh, beautiful sunshine Friday, a lighter breeze from the north. Saturday, some showers. Uh, at this point, it could be evening and just a glancing blow from that storm system. Brief shower early Sunday morning with occasional sun and clouds in the afternoon. Kind of a chilly breeze and highs around 57 for Mother's Day, so temperatures still running about 10 degrees below the seasonal average, but not much rain for Mother's Day weekend. Although we could use some rain, at least for Mother's Day, we were saying, well, if, it's, if we're not going to get the rain we need, at least we'd have some quiet sunshine for Mother's Day. It looks like it'll be a quiet weekend for the most part, uh, and uh, no severe weather, certainly a concern at this point. So the next week, a slow warm-up will be around 60 by Tuesday. Rain, next best chance after this weekend, next Wednesday, perhaps next Saturday. That would be uh, a week after Mother's Day weekend, next Saturday. And then it looks like in those days uh, beyond the seven-day forecast scope here, we're talking next Thursday and Friday, it looks like we then start seeing slightly warmer air coming back in, talking mid, maybe upper 60s for highs, getting closer to uh, the second half of uh, May, uh, late next weekend, heading into that weekend. So promise of something a little warmer down the road now. Again, we're the deficit now in the rainfall column, almost three inches, 2.78 inches so far this year overall. A lot of that just because of last month we were uh, 
more than two inches below the seasonal norm, and we are very dry right now. Moderate drought right now, so we can use some rain, and we're going to get maybe a tenth to a quarter inch today, maybe just a little bit this weekend, and a small dose next Wednesday, and again next Saturday. So there'll be like three or four rain chances in the next uh, ten days or so. In the meantime, uh, enjoy. Uh, the, uh, some sun and some rain today for our Wednesday. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here for Thursday.